If somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. When I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want that to be the first thing that's mentioned. It's your boy Busy, back at it again. I just wanted to get on here and speak on the passing of Matthew Perry. For anyone that doesn't know, Perry rose to fame for his role as Chandler on the hit TV show Friends. Uh, he passed away of an apparent drowning in his LA home and the news is just absolutely heartbreaking. So I just wanna check uh, some of the reports, see what the reports are saying um, and just see if they break down the cause of death. This morning, as fans mourn the loss of one of their greatest friends, we're learning new details about the investigation into Matthew Perry's death. A source close to Perry telling NBC News that the 54-year-old actor was discovered by his assistant. Law enforcement says that he was found unresponsive in a jacuzzi at his Pacific Palisades home Saturday. Respond to the drowning. Sources say that there was no obvious signs of trauma or foul play. The cause of death still unknown, pending toxicology testing. In an eerie foreshadowing of his passing, Perry's last Instagram post just five days before his death was this photo of him in a swimming pool. Hey, Bert! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! At just 24 years old, he landed the role of a lifetime for 10 seasons, charming fans as Chandler Bing on the hit NBC sitcom Friends. In a 2021 cast reunion special, Perry reflecting on the special bond with his co-stars. After the show was over, if one of us bumped into each other, that was it. That was the end of the night. You just sat with that sat with the person mm -hmm. all night sure. long. Former NBC Entertainment president Warren Littlefield says Perry was just as quick and witty off screen. His mind worked so fast. He was so adept, but also um, the heart that he had. He opened up about his decades-long battle with drugs and alcohol in his 2022 memoir. I didn't watch the show and haven't watched the show because I could go drinking, opiates, drinking, cocaine. Drink, like I could tell season by season by how I looked. It's kind of odd. It's going to be interesting to see just exactly what they find um, to be the cause. Zaria says the actor was like a brother to him, adding it was Perry who took him to his first AA meeting. He was so caring and giving and wise, and he totally helped me um, get sober. Perry himself mm. hoping to be remembered most for helping others. If somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. When I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want that to be the first thing that's mentioned. So yeah, he really cared about helping others. He really wanted, um, you know, others to just get free of their addiction, you know, break free of their issues, which so many people fight, um, you know, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. Um, and like he said, he doesn't want to be known, you know, lastly for friends. He really wants to be known for just everything he did for everyone around him and for, for all those addicts that he did help. We're also learning new details about what Matthew Perry was doing the day of his death. Perry's pickleball coach telling People Magazine that Perry had played a match with someone just hours before he was found dead in his home nearby. And the coach also said that he was doing really well. We should mention that this sad news is hitting another member of our NBC News family, particularly hard. Matthew's stepfather is Dateline correspondent Keith Morrison, who's been married to his mother for more than 40 years. Wow. Our hearts go out to Keith and their entire family. I really did not know Keith was his stepfather. Wow, that is crazy. Man, huge loss here. Perry, born in Williamstown, Massachusetts, was raised in Canada before moving to Los Angeles as a teen. It was there he discovered his love of comedy, joining an improv group. At the age of 24, he would land the gig of a lifetime as Chandler Bing on the hit NBC sitcom Friends. He would star in the show for all 10 seasons. I left the message, I have some pride. Do you? No. <laughs> and later in a string of hit films like The Whole Nine Yards, Fools Rush In, and the romantic comedy Seventeen Again. You have really great hair. Yeah, Matthew Perry, I mean, he just, he was just so witty, uh, so funny. He had just a way with words. Um, he was an absolute character, just a total goofball. Um, uh, he's really what brought the cast of Friends together. I don't think it would be quite Friends without Chandler Bing. Let me know down in the chat, what do you think? What are you gonna show me my clothes? <laughs> hey, opposite is opposite. <laughs> He's got nothing. <laughs> okay, 
buddy boy, here it is. Buddy boy? You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. <laughs> oh my God! That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me, I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? <laughs> I think one of my favorite roles of Matthew Perry has to be uh, Benny from Fallout New Vegas. I mean, the role is just absolutely perfect for him. You know, he's he's like a suave kind of character, and um, he just really absolutely sells the piece. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. The absolute loss of a legend, gone absolutely too soon. I mean, to drown in his own jacuzzi in his LA home, it's just completely heartbreaking. Y'all just have to be following this and see just exactly what the autopsy reads. You know, more may show up, um, especially during the autopsy, they may find uh, more um, to it, or it may just been an accidental drowning. You know, he may have slipped, maybe a heart attack, um, or just accidental, you know, falling in or hitting his head. Um, my thoughts and prayers go out to his family. It's just super sad. You know, he was so young. R.I.P. Matthew Perry. That's going to be just about it for today, guys. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified for future videos. And I'll see you next time. Peace.